right, joining me today is Northeastern State women's basketball coach Randy Gibson. Uh, coach, thanks for joining me. The first question I'll ask you uh, as we look ahead to the upcoming 2012-13 season, what do you feel about your team's strengths heading into the year? Well, we have a good core of returning players, and I think probably particularly at the guard position, uh, we, we have some very experienced players, particularly Taylor Lewis and Tasha Tyler, seniors that have been here uh, since their freshman year and have had a lot of experience uh, and been big parts of uh, the success that we've had over these several years. So we're looking for leadership there along with Sarah Green and our other senior. And, um, you know, uh, I think we have some people that have their eyes open as we go into uh, a very competitive season. Um, talk about the, the, the key players or maybe some, some things you feel like your team needs to improve on, just some of the concerns heading into the year. Well, we lost three three good players, uh, three seniors last year, Christy Nitz, Megan Fraley, and Jasmine Wright, all played uh, big roles in the, in the success that we had. And uh, so, you know, uh, we have a hole up in our front line there that we have to fill with Christy. She particularly defended extremely well. And um, uh, so that would be a, a concern. Uh, you know, I think at the guard spots, uh, defensively, we, we lost a lot with the people that we lost there. So, um, but again, I, I feel like we have, you know, we have a good nucleus of people. We had some people, that, uh, younger ones in our program last year. Uh, that I think paid attention and are and hopefully ready to step in and assume some of those roles. Some of the you, you look at some of the key statistics from last year. You're second in the country in assist to turnover ratio, fourth in turnovers per game, fifth in the whole country in scoring defense, only allowing 52 points per game. Uh, just talk about the discipline that, that you preach to your players. Well, we we have a, a group of kids that really have bought in and believe in the, the things that we're trying to do and it. It's a team first situation here uh, at Northeastern. We feel um, that uh, you know everybody understands that we have to have great team effort on both ends of the floor, and and uh, and, and we try to play as a team, play hard, uh, also be efficient in terms of taking care of the basketball, and um, you know we feel like if we can do those things on both ends of the floor. We've got a chance to compete, and, and uh, you know we, we feel like we have a, uh, a core of players that have. You know, have bought into that, as I said, and uh, uh, you know should be able to lead the way. You know, to continue to do some of those things well. Um, you've won at least 25 games each of the last three seasons. You, 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 last year we were an independent as a, as a university, but now we've moved into the new MI AA. Um, take us through a little bit. You know, from from a general perspective, your your, your non conference schedule, and then your excitement about joining the MI AA. Well, we have a very challenging schedule. Uh, this year, as you mentioned, the non-conference schedule. Uh, uh, we're on the road against Drury University, against Tarleton State, against Southeastern Oklahoma, against uh, uh, University of Arkansas Fort Smith. Uh, we have neutral court games at uh, Southwestern Oklahoma and their classic to open the season against Lubbock Christian and Oklahoma City University. Uh, so uh, our schedule is very challenging. And uh, when you add that, then obviously with the MIAA, uh, our first year in that to where we'll really see what it feels like to play every night home and away against uh, you know, the high level uh, uh, competition that the MIAA provides. So uh, we know that that'll be a great challenge for us. Uh, but uh, you, know, you, you can think about a lot, a lot of those games and get overwhelmed, uh, you know, but we're just going to take it one day at a time, one game at a time. and. Uh, try to prepare as we've done in the past. The last question I'll ask you before we let you get out of here, Coach. Um, <clears throat> it's the last season in Jack Dobbins Fieldhouse before we move into our new event center. Um, just take me through some of the, you know, how important is it to you to close out the, the, the Jack Dobbins Fieldhouse on a high note? Well, Jack Dobbins is a, a beloved figure in the Northeastern State. Uh, uh, in the Northeastern State tradition and uh, still resides in the community here. So uh, certainly it would be important for us to, to have a great year and, 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 and we'll be conscious of that, that every game we play, that we, we're getting closer to the end of that era. And uh, so we'd certainly like to, um, you know, finish on a really good note. Uh, it's exciting uh, to, to be here at Northeastern right now with the uh, new arena coming and, uh, so I think you add those things together, and it, it adds, you know, one more element, you know, besides uh, 
going into the new conference this year. You know, we do have some other things that we're playing for, and and uh, hopefully we'll make every day and every game count. It's definitely a great time to be a Riverhawk. Uh, Coach Randy Gibson, women's basketball, thank you for joining me today.